Hello everybody and welcome back to the Integrity Botanicals YouTube channel. I'm coming at you guys today with this look you see here inspired by a new vapor ad where they have just launched this gorgeous new soiree eye palette with three beautiful cream colors and a new siren lipstick in naive they're all what i'm wearing today i do use mostly other vapor products in this as well so you can see how they work i've done this once before if you want to see that tutorial but these are brand new for the holidays so you guys want to know how i achieve this look and how these products apply please keep watching so for once, I am being significantly less reckless, and I'm doing the skin first because we're using mostly creams on the eyes. So I'm doing primer. This is the Vapor Instant to Dry to Skin Perfector. I like this more as like a pore filler and skin smoothener. Just so this foundation that I'm following up with next, this is the 100% Pure Healthy Skin Foundation. I'm currently in the shade White Peach. Once I blend it out, it is quite a good match for me right now. I'm pretty pale. And I like to rub that in with the hands and look how easy it goes on with that primer. Then I'm going in with my favorite of the moment, the Well People BioCorrect Concealer. And I use this one in the shade light and I love the way this blends out with the finger super duper easy and I'm just gonna take that right under the eyes as you do and then I'm gonna go ahead and take the leftover on the eyelid and I tend to bring it down in a bit of a triangle shape to also conceal that redness around the nose but feel free to apply it wherever you may need it bronzer we're using mostly creams in this product so this is what also makes the tutorial so easy. This is the Vapor Bronzer in Mirage. They do have two other shades if this is too light for you, but I'm pretty pale at the moment, so this gives me just enough sun-kissed effect, and it does build nicely if you wanted to add a little bit more color, but I'm just taking that on the temples and on my cheekbones for a little warmth. More cream product. This is the Aura Multi-Use Stick in Spark. It's just a good neutral, peachy nude shade. We don't want this to compete with the eyes at all. I want the skin just to look really fresh and flushed, but not like it has a whole ton going on. And this is the perfect touch of color, and I'm using just a ring finger to blend that in. If you guys didn't know, the ring finger has the least amount of pressure in it, so it's really good for blending product without tugging at the skin. Highlight. This is the Halo Highlight in Moonlight. You're going to see I use this both ways. I'll go ahead and rub a little bit on the finger, but I also will just go in straight with the stick just to really add in the color. This isn't a crazy luminous highlighter, but given its cream texture, it's really natural and really pretty, so I thought it was perfect for this look. And I like to go glow even through the fall time. I don't know about you guys. I'm just going to do a quick little spritz of the Amly Mist. You guys know I love this. It'll really make everything look even more skin-like, fresh, dewy, and that's what we want. Straight into eyes. I'm taking the lightest color here in the Soiree palette just on my finger, and I'm just going to pack that on the eyelid. It's not insanely pigmented, but it does neutralize a lot of the color on my lid. You're going to see we're going to go ahead and intensify that later, but we're just going to lay this down on the lid so we know what we're working with. And then I'm going to go with the Delium Tools 781 in that middle shade. It's like a beautiful shimmering bronze. All of these are, they're not matte, but they do look real, they blend out really beautifully. They're not metallic by any means. So I'm taking this just sort of like in the crease line. It sort of looks like I'm doing a cut crease, but I'm not being too neat about it. And I'm taking that right the way in and sort of leaving this round almond shape there on the end to really shape my eyes. And we're just doing that with the brown first. Now I'm just going in with the Delium Tool 785, my favorite for blending, and we're just going to soften that up. This is going to be a lot of back and forth between these steps because that's just how we can get the depth and dimension we want, especially since we're working with creams. Creams blend out beautifully, but they do take a little more work to build up. So you'll see I'm going back in, and we're going to go underneath that lash line. I do like a little hint of color there always, but you could skip it if you prefer. Now I'm going with the same exact brush in that more black tone. It's not a super opaque black, so it really is just the perfect amount of color to deepen up that bronze. So same exact technique we're doing with this. I just wanted to show you guys, it takes a lot of back and forth. I do go in with a pencil brush here just to make it slightly more precise. It's like I said, this isn't a cut crease tutorial, so it doesn't need to be immaculate, but we do want the lighter color on the lid and the depth 
in the crease and outer V area. So we'll just go back with the Delium Tool 785 and blend back and forth motions. Then I'm going in with Kierweiss Cloud 9 and the Delium Tools 777. I wanted the lid shade to really pop. You could see it sort of dissipated as I blended. That happens no matter what the eyeshadow is, but I really wanted to lock that lid shade in place. It'll also help you clean up the line between your lid and your crease, so it'll give you more of that quote-unquote cut crease effect that we are sort of going for here. And Cloud 9 is like a perfect match for the color. It's like an icy cool tone shade. Then following up with some liner, this is their Mesmerize Eyeliner in Ink. This is one of my favorite eyeliners to smudge into the lash line, so I am going to be applying it in the waterline as well, just because I wanted this to be slightly more smoky, but you can see it's like the easiest look of all time. So once it's in that waterline, super easy. I also tight line. I'm going to go ahead and apply some to my lid just towards the edge. This is just to give the lashes some more depth. You guys know I love to do this in just about every tutorial here on this channel, and it also has the best smudger on the end, so that is exactly what I use to blend out this color. It's effortless and it doesn't pick up too much of the product. That is why I am head over heels for it. To finish that up, I'm going in with nothing other than the Hint Beauty Nocturne Mascara. This is the best mascara ever, nine times out of 10, if you guys are asking me what I am wearing as of late. This is the one, because it is just the best. And wrapping this look up with lipstick, you know I love their Siren lipsticks. If you want to see all the colors swatched, I did a video on that, but this is their new color in Naive, a gorgeous cool toned brown, and I really think this complements the look perfectly. All right, you guys, so that is it. This is my completed makeup look using the new Vapor Soiree eye palette. I think I'm ready for a soiree. What about you guys? But thank you so much for watching this video as always. If you enjoyed it, all product links and our social media is going to be listed down below. So make sure to check that out as well as give this video a big thumbs up and subscribe. It lets me know you like it and you also won't miss a video if you do that either because I upload here every single Monday and Friday. But thank you guys so much for all the love and support as always and I will catch you in my next video. Bye!